Now I'm going to hear from Matt Bauman and Brandon Wyman who are running for Gage County Board of Supervisors District 2. We'd like to remind everybody that we are being broadcast live on Channel 9 and this forum is being videotaped and we played several times before now or between now and election time. Each candidate will be given a two minute time to give an introduction and then one minute to answer each question. I ask that you watch uh, the timer to keep track of your time. Questions being asked tonight were submitted to the Chamber Office from the community. If anybody in the audience wants to submit a question, write it down on paper and our assistant will bring it up to the front. At the end of the question and answer period, each candidate will be allowed two minutes for their summation. Before we start, we drew names and Mr. Bauman, you get to start off with your two minute introduction. Very good, thank you. Again, my name is Matt Bauman and I'm a candidate for re-election to the uh, District 2 uh, Board of Supervisors. I'm a Republican and I'm running uh, as an incumbent. A uh, little bit about myself. I'm married, been married to my wife for about 13 years. Uh, we have four children. Uh, my career is in healthcare. I do have a background and a, and a family history of agriculture, but I've chosen a, a healthcare profession. I work currently for the Dialysis Center of Beatrice. And I have some previous service for uh, Beatrice Community Hospital. Uh, I think what I bring to the county board and what I've brought for the last four years is uh, new ideas, um, some positive thinking and a different way of looking at things and a different way of approaching people. I've worked hard to try and redevelop relationships that in the past have gone uh, not so well. I uh, work well with other elected officials and other board members and really have, I believe, taken an ownership of the finances of Gage County and have worked well with my fellow board members on a finance committee. I'm not the kind of person that's going to sit around and poke people in the eyes and throw slings and arrows. That's just not what I'm there for. I'm there to do the work. I'm there to do the job. Uh, from time to time, uh, as, le as with any organization, there's difficult things that come up that we have to deal with. I look at those opportunities, those problems and issues that I, as opportunities for improvement and opportunities for success. I think in the last two years, we've had a very effective county board. I appreciate all the other uh, elected officials that I've worked with, um, and I think we're moving in the right direction. As I spoke with another supervisor tonight, we're moving in the right direction financially. We're in, we're in good place. We're able to do the things that we need to do. Uh, again, I have ideas. I don't have all the answers. I'll present my ideas in the most positive light possible and work to contribute and work with other people to improve Gage County. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bauman. Mr. Wyman, would you like to give us your uh, introduction? I'm Brandon Wyman, and I am employed at the Beatrice Manor and occasionally substitute in the Beatrice School District. I am running because we need a more open and po form of, of government. And I'm trying to think here. We need a more open form of government that is willing to take the time to communicate with the public about these key issues so we have a better understanding and a comprehensive idea. And since our current board member couldn't do that, I decided to run. That's about it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Wyman. And you're gonna start off with our questions. You get the first one. What is your number one priority program or project and how will you pay for it? Number one priority would be looking back into the uh, administrative services director. This was a position that was created way back in 09, at the end of 08 towards, I think it was gotten rid of in the middle of 2009. I believe we could use this position to better facilitate between different departments like the county highway department, zoning and planning, economic development, which is key, and just better liaise between all the departments, county, uh, register of deeds, uh, clerks, treasurer, county attorney. And how would we pay for this? Since we don't have a county highway superintendent anymore, we have additional funding that could be used for such a position. And the benefits of Okay, thank you, Mr. Wyman. Uh, Mr. Bauman, what is your number one priority program or project, and how would you pay for it? 
Moving forward, we've discussed this uh, quite a little bit in the last year on Road and Bridge specifically, is dealing with the infrastructure needs, or the paving issues that we have in Gage County. Most specifically is Hickory Road. There's economic development that needs to take place up there. That is a main thoroughfare, very near uh, to Beatrice. There's a benefit there to have that hazmat traffic not come through the city of Beatrice. That's not a new project. It's been talked about since the 80s, and we need to look at doing that. Some of that we can do internally. The first two miles there, I believe we have the ability with our current crews to do, as evidenced by what was done there on Linden Road. Our crews did that themselves. There is going to be a road bond coming up that the public will have the ability to vote on, and that's going to deal with the other outlying hard surface roads in Gage County. So those are the two things. The uh, Hickory Road, we should be able to do internally with very low 1% to 3% interest bonds. We should do that with internal funding without anything additional, and the voters will get to vote on the broader project, which will touch all the different areas of the county. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bauman. And you're going to field the next question. What qualities do you have that would make you the best candidate for this office? Well, I believe contrary to what my opponent has said, I am very open. I believe I'm the first elected official in Gage County to have a website where I openly and actively posted public documents. I've gone to Claytonia and Pickerel Village board meetings. I've tried to make myself very active in the community. Am I going to make everybody happy? No. Am I going to be able to answer every question? No. But I do make efforts. And when there is a call for me to come, I do show up. I'm basically a supervisor that makes house calls. If you need me, I'll show up. I've gone to Wymore. I've gone to Adams multiple times. I've shown up at people's doorstep in the morning with donuts and coffee. <laughs> I, it, is, it is hard to, to reach everybody, but I do make an effort to do that. And I'll continue to make an effort to do that. And I believe that is important. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bauman. Mr. Wyman, I'm going to give you the same question. What qualities do you have that would make you the best candidate for this office? willingness to do the job. Since I have additional free time these days, I could devote additional time to actually doing the job, looking into the issues, attending meetings, and I'm willing to do it. <laughs> what, why am I the best person for the job? Because nobody else wanted to do it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Wyman. And you're going to start off with the next question. Uh, if elected, what do you believe to be your role or authority in the day-to-day -day operation of the county? Day-to-day hmm. -day operations? As a legislative body, the board does not engage in daily-to-day -day oper operations. That's where you would come up with a administrative services director who could help oversee such things like the highway department and better facilitate the board's or wishes. Okay, thank you, Mr. Wyman. Uh, Mr. Baum, I'm going to give you the same question. If elected, what do you believe to be your role or authority in the day-to-day -day operation of the county? Well, we hire good people to do a good job in Gage County. From time to time, they seek us out as resources. I'll give an example today. At 4.30 yesterday afternoon, I was contacted by the highway department to go with them to meet the Nebraska Department of Roads regarding the Philly North project, the Philly Bridge. So I had to change all of my plans willingly, got in a truck with them, and we drove up there at 8 o'clock in the morning to meet with them at 9 o'clock. We had an excellent meeting. That project is moving forward. We need to be involved when asked upon and called upon on a day-to-day -day basis to help those out that we employ. We need to be very active. We need to be involved. You cannot be asleep at the wheel as a county supervisor. You need to be there. Are there times when we need to back off and let our people do their jobs? Absolutely, and we do that. But when they need redirection, we need to be there as a resource. We also need to be a conduit to the public to help them understand the process and provide them the information that they ask for. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bauman. And we're going to give you the next question. Economic development is always a topic of a debate when it comes to the city and county. In your opinion, what should be the role of city and county in funding economic development using tax dollars? Well, I believe the system that we have in place now is, is a better system than we had before with regard to the structure. They're, at this point, it's going to be partially funded from the city and the county with the goal of seeking out private funding. Now, that may take a while for that to happen. I've, I've said this before, and it's kind of the mantra really with regard to economic development. It's not a government's responsibility to see how many people they can employ. It's our responsibility to help private industry be successful so they can see how many people they can employ. So our role is to be active at arm's length on that, on that 
new board, we specifically wanted non-elected officials to be the active participants, and I believe we've crafted it that way. It'll take time to get there, but if we're not out selling our community, nobody else will do it for us, and there's other people out there selling their community. So we need to be an active participant at arm's length and being supportive. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bauman. Uh, Mr. Wyman, I'm gonna give you the same question. Economic development is always a topic of debate when it comes to the city and county. In your opinion, what should be the role of the city county in funding economic development using tax dollars? I also believe that our current system is working, is the best we can do at this time. But we should also be aware of any additional ways we could expand upon the economic base of our county. Okay, thank you, Mr. Wyman. Uh, this next question, which you're going to start off with, is a little bit of an extension of the last one. What role should the level of government associated with the city council have in attack, attracting or retaining business to the area? Could you repeat the question? Sure. What role should the level of government, which would be the county board, associate with the city council in retaining or attracting business to the area? When it comes to relationship with the city of Beatrice, the county should be very open to the possibilities of working very close together. How exactly would they do that besides jointly funding an economic development organization? I'm not sure. Okay, thank you, Mr. Wyman. Mr. Bauman, I'm gonna give you the same question. What role should the level of the, go the government, being the county board, associate with the city council and having and retaining attracting business to the area? I believe it's the relationship that we have right now. We have an economic development committee with the county and there's also an economic development with the city. Uh, the benefit of us working together is the city has LB840 funds and in their plan that they just renewed this year there is an opportunity for those funds to be used outside the city of Beatrice. Um, if, if we have that relationship with the city and there is a mutual benefit, 51% of the people in Gage County live in Beatrice. There's 49% that live in the rural areas. Those rural people do come to Beatrice to work. And if we have an opportunity to bring an industry in, into town or very near town, because there are folks periodically that call that want to bring a business to Gage County but don't want to be in Beatrice City proper. But there's a mutual benefit there. So I believe the relationship that we have now that we've worked very hard on at creating a positive relationship is, is, a, is a good one. And there's mutual benefits for both of us sitting at the table. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Bauman. And that's going to end up our questions tonight. Would you like to start off with your two-minute summation? Sure. Again, uh, Matt Bauman, Republican, running for re-election to the Gage County Board of Supervisors. Um, the county board is, is a steep learning curve. And I, I think a year before I was on the board, I spent my time asking a lot of questions and attending a lot of meetings. I'm very active, uh, maybe to the chagrin of other people and to the absolute appreciation of others. Uh, you know, as elected official and being a representative, it's our duty to be out there. You know, I'm, I'm working hard to contribute to the community, to work with people, to try and make it better. Uh, I have four children at home. I have a vested interest in this community being a place for them to want to come back and live. Again, am I always going to be right? Absolutely not. But do I have good people I believe that I'm working with right now? Absolutely. Um, again, I'm a county supervisor that makes house calls. That's kind of my mantra. I've said that before. And I'll be available and I'll be ready. You can call me anytime. I have had calls at 1030 at night. I have had calls at 5 in the morning. That's okay. That's my role. That's my responsibility. I do appreciate my roles and my employer right now. They, they support my involvement in my community, and that helps me to function as a county supervisor and helps me to, to be efficient, and I, and I appreciate that. Um, last thing I would like to say is that um, uh, you know, I'm a straight shooter. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to know, and I'll do so respectfully, and I'll listen to you when you have something that you think I need to know. Um, encourage anyone who's listening or watching or in the audience, go ahead and visit my website, gagecountyd2.com. Um, again, I'm running for re-election. I'm asking for your vote now and through November the 6th. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bauman. Uh, Mr. Wyman, would you like to give us your summation? The job of county supervisor needs to be open to the generalized bigger picture. We cannot be told one thing by our county board 
like we need a new jail, and then not listen to alternative proposals. We cannot make a mockery out of our county by dragging a year-long debate into our highway department or fiasco. We need to make sure that Gage County is represented with quality individuals and, um, and people who are willing to hear the other side. So am I the perfect candidate for this? Probably not. I'm terrible at public speaking. I'm not very social. And I too was waiting for that perfect candidate to vote for, to run so I could vote for that person. And that person did not materialize. There will never be a perfect candidate. There can only be you. Or in my case, me. So you're going to vote for me because you don't want to be talked down to anymore. Okay, thank you, Mr. Wyman. On behalf of the Beatrice Area Chamber of Commerce, I'd like to thank Mr. Wyman and Mr. Bowman for coming here tonight and uh, sharing their thoughts with us. We're going to take a break for a couple of minutes, and when we come back, uh, we're going to hear from Dennis Byers and Jason Sharp, who's running for District 4. <laughs> 